Hi, I'm Iman. Welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the rotor, the caliper, and the caliper bracket from a 2010 Honda Insight Hybrid. There are a few reasons why you might want to do this. For example, you might want to replace the rotor, you might want to replace the brake pads, or, in our case, you might want to get behind it and replace the knuckle. Whichever reason why, we're going to show you how to do it today. This process is pretty much the same for any Honda, uh, Accord, Civics, you name it. But when you're dealing with brake pads or the like, it's always a good best practice to loosen the brake fluid cap right here. That's what you've already done. So what we're gonna do first is take out the caliper bracket, which is these two bolts right here, the top one and the bottom one right here. All right, so let me clarify. There, this is the caliper, this is the bracket. This bolt connects the two. So we're just removing these two bolts that connect them. It's always good to turn it a bit, so, turn the wheel a bit so you can get to the bolts easier. First of all, I'm loosening them by hand. Then I'm going to use my Milwaukee. two bolts look like. All right, so in our case, this car has been out for a while, so it's been exposed to a lot of rust, so you might need to pry it out, which isn't that bad. And then after that, what you want to do is you want to hang it up. Now we're going to hang it. And put it out of the way. Alright, so now that I think about it, it might be a better idea to hang this a bit higher. I'm just going to wrap this around. And then, we're going to take these. And we're going to secure it to the very top. Just like that. Just wrap this around one more time. And put it on. Okay. So, now, normally what you would do is you would just take out the brake pads like this. You would just pry them out like that. But, since this has been exposed to the elements, it's rusted. So, instead of what we're going to do is we're going to take out the entire bracket. So, that means we're going to take out these two bolts. And then, we're just going to pry it out. So, these are 17 millimeters, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to do the top one first. You hear that squeak? That tells you how rusty it's been. Okay, it's, I think it's loose enough to use the Milwaukee now. Alright, so now we're going to use the Milwaukee to loosen it up. There's one bolt. Then, here's the next. So let's try frying it up. There we go. The brake bracket and then the brake pads. So if you didn't do it like us and you tried to pry it out, tried to pry the brake pads out, this is what you might have ended up with, the brake pads actually being damaged. And I think that might have been due to the situation that this car was in. It wasn't a 
sort of a car accident, so I guess the brakes kind of clamped shut, like really shut. So that's what caused him to be this damage. All right, so the hardest part of taking out the rotor, and apparently a lot of people on online forums agree, all right, that airplane, but a lot of people on online forums agree that taking out these two rotor screws, which look like this, is the, probably the hardest part of this entire thing. So as you can see, we tried using a Dremel. That didn't work. We tried drilling it out. We got this part, but not this one yet. And we, we even used like WD-40 and PV Blaster for days and it still didn't come out. So that's gonna be the trickiest part. But assuming that we already got these two screws out, what we're gonna do is normally you try to knock it out using vibrations and you can see that's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a uh, bolt type wheel pulley set and you might have, well, wheel puller set and you might have seen us use this on the steering wheel video but essentially what you do is you fix these two screws onto these two holes and then you use a sort of like a vise to pull them out and you'll see what we're doing as you can see we have the two screws on the rotor and what we're just going to do is we're just going to tighten them and as it's tightened you can see that it's actually slowly going to rotate and we should have done this before we took everything off because if we do we're gonna do each of them a little at a time so that it's not uneven but we should have done this before we took everything off because this is not gonna spin if we do that before all right so at this point if you see it start to come out try to pull it through your hands and if it doesn't come out then try to hit it out with vibrations and if it doesn't then just Keep loosening it. I think I heard it. All right, so after a bit of struggle, you're finally able to get it out. So there's what the rotor looks like. All right, so after a few minutes of working on it, we tried to get these two holes clear, but they just couldn't, so Thankfully, the engineers at Honda designed this to have four holes, so we're just gonna use the other two. Now, ordinarily, you would use uh, a manual impact like this in order to take it out, and we actually have, uh, take the screws out, and we actually have a video on our channel about that, so go check that out. And we also have a video on how to use the uh, bolt-type wheel puller set, if I'm just gonna mention it. But, we got the rotor out. All right, so just a little demonstration, and we're just gonna turn this handle to the left, and just look at the position that it is in right now, You'll see that when I hit it, after it springs back, it should move a tiny bit. Oh. Okay. And then one more time. And you can see that it's rotated by about 45 degrees. So that is what the manual impact driver, manual impact looks like. All right, so my dad said it didn't move that much. So we're going to try it again, but maybe with all my might. It's, it's not really about teaching you guys. It's more about teaching me. But... Look at that position and... So, I guess that's it. Today I showed you how to remove the rotor and the brake caliper and bracket. So, uh, installation is basically the same thing as removal but in reverse and if you want to know how to do the installation, then we're also going to do a video on that. So go check that out if you want to. And if you want to know the spe uh, torque specifications, we'll tell you in that video as well. Um, also, word of advice, don't have your workspace too cluttered like we have it here. Most of these tools were actually for drilling the hole out, but uh, you know, what can you do? So just for a final comparison, this is what the two rotors look like side by side. Um, and I guess that's it. So I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like or comment, subscribe to other videos on I and Ayman. Uh, especially keep a lookout for that video on how to install the rotor and the brakes. And 
also keep a lookout for our videos on the Honda Insight, which we'll do a lot more soon. So, I'll see you there. Signing out. Peace.